Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man, and welcome to physics. This year, we're going to learn about physics. But what does that mean? It means that we're going to make use of that math you've been learning the last 10, 11 years in order to understand how the world around us works. Physics helps us to make connections between seemingly unrelated phenomena. Physics will help you think more analytically about the world around you and about everyday interactions with that world and the people in it. Physics is the basis for all new technologies. These are the most wonderful things that physics does, but perhaps closer to home, physics students score better on tests like the SAT, the GRE, and the MCAT, if you're going to become a doctor. Physics explains everything from how light from the sun can refract and reflect through water droplets to form rainbows. And you might think, I just want to enjoy rainbows for their beauty. Well, I'd say that I still enjoy rainbows for their beauty, but I'm even more impressed with the way they form in the amazing way that our world works. Physics also explains why we stick out our arms when we walk along the edge of a planter to keep our balance, or why we prefer to take a charge and flop on a basketball court if it's made of wood floors, but we'd never make that choice if we were playing on asphalt or cement. Physics explains to us why planes can stay in the air and boats can float. Physics explains how a speaker can make sound or how your phone can send a signal to your earbuds. Physics explains how the screen on a TV a phone or watch creates light. Physics explains why the sun is hot and will eventually turn into a red giant and then eventually into a white dwarf. Physics explains how we can learn about distant stars and galaxies by examining the light from them. Physics seeks to fully understand how the largest supernova can become black holes. Physics can explain how a telescope can collect light and make things visible that wouldn't be otherwise visible. Physics helps athletes hit harder, run or spin faster, jump or throw farther or, and more accurately. Physics helps dancers and gymnasts stay balanced as they performed mind-blowing routines. Physics is the world. This year, our introduction into this phenomenal subject of physics will be broken down into a variety of subjects. First, we'll begin by describing the motion of objects as we learn about velocity or speed, which we'll talk mostly as the same thing, even though one's a vector and one's the scale and they're really fairly different. We'll learn about acceleration and things in free fall, which will provide us with a mathematical way to describe how things move. Then we'll learn about what causes the objects to change their motion. Forces, which incorporate Newton's laws. Circular motion and gravity, which describe the way planets move and everything moves. Um, unbalanced forces causing an acceleration. Then, often in the second semester, we'll cover other helpful models for understanding the cause of the changes in motion. We'll look through a lens of a model called energy, another lens called momentum. We'll look at electrostatics and electric circuits. We'll look at waves and sound. There will also be opportunities to learn beyond this into several extra credit units, such as two-dimensional motions, uh, uh, projectiles, calculating frictional forces and forces on an incline. These involve trigonometry, uh, use of sines and cosines. There'll be extra credit units about rotational motion, about uh, electric fields, circuit designs, magnetism, electromagnetism, and light. By the end of the year, you will have a foundation for understanding the world around you. So welcome to physics with the scientific adventures of Beard Man.